What's up guys? Today we got a pretty cool video. I've had a lot of people sending me requests wanting to know the differences between the triangle box by Montezuma from the shop box and the small shop box and the large shop box and all that. So today I thought I'd shoot a quick video and show you guys the differences and let y'all look at them kind of side by side because I've got the new baby one that just came out and uh, it's really cool. So you guys that may be looking to add an awesome toolbox to your arsenal of tool organization, this is the video for you. Come on. As they see here, this is obviously the original triangle box that they've had. Um, it's, it's one of my favorite boxes as far as putting tools in a small footprint. You're not gonna find a box that's gonna allow you to have as much tool storage in a small footprint as what these boxes offer. Now, like I say, this is the original. It is the waterproof version. So it don't hurt to leave it in the back of your truck. It's lockable as you see and you can hold plenty of different tools inside of it. These boxes are phenomenal. Um, if you'll go back and watch the video, I'll put a card up here. When we did the factory tour, they actually put this thing on a rotisserie and spin it upside down. None of the tools fall out. Really good investment for you guys that's looking for a waterproof box. Lockable. It's got storage underneath, as you can see. Holds plenty of tools to get the job done that you're gonna need. So that's the original waterproof Montezuma that they've had for a long time. These things are cool. So let's go take a look at some of the Shopbox series. All right, so as you guys can see, this is the largest of the Shopbox that they have currently. Um, I apologize for the sound that you may hear. The, the local community college is practicing the band deal, which is not far from the shop. But anyway, I've just unloaded this box to do another video where I robbed all the tools out of it for another video that I'm doing so you can see kind of how much these actually hold. They have the power uh, tool holder where you can put your power tools in here. I actually did a video on this one. I'll try to put a card at the top where you can see it, but holds all your large sockets all the way down to your small, fine quarter inch, like quarter inch, quarter inch, quarter inch sockets. But this raises up, got all the storage underneath it. And it's got the big drawer on the bottom. Like I say, I unloaded this box to do another video and I robbed some of the tools out of it to put in a smaller shop box um, that's gonna be coming out pretty soon that you guys can see. But this is the largest version of the shop box that they have. And it also is lockable. So that's the big one. So now let's go take a look at the smaller ones. All right, so here you can see the smaller of the shop boxes. This one is a 18 inch wide by 12 inches deep. And this is the brand new one that they just come out with. And it is, I think it's 15 and a 15.4 inches by 13 inches this way. So I'll open these up and let you look. Like I say, I took some of the tools out of the other one to put in this one. Now we can kind of see how much it'll hold. It also has a power tool holder, wrench rack in the back, as you guys can see here. Sockets, it's got a drawer here that you can pull out, hold a bit of stuff, as well as plenty of storage on the bottom. And it's got the drawer. Like I say, this is a perfect box. Now keep in mind, this box as well as the last one, if it's a shop box, it is not waterproof. So you'll have to keep this one in the dry. My plans is to sit this in a regular toolbox. If you wanna make it mobile, it'll work fine. This one's actually going in the SUV and uh, that's where it'll live full time. But you hold a lot of tools in a very small footprint and it too is lockable. Now here is, like I say, this is the 18 by 12 shop box. Now this was the smallest one they made until they came out with this one. 
and this one is really cool and it's a little different design it's got the you know the latches that you can lock but this one instead of having a gas strut it's got the um the lid kind of on a a prop arm i guess is the the best way to say it you don't have to worry about a gas strut but you simply flick that up and it'll let the top close back down but it's got um these little side pins both hands you pull them in to open the bottom and that lets you into the storage that you have there so it's got a, a shelf here storage under here uh, the same thing the wrench racks socket holders this will be for your sockets and pliers and whatnot here really nice setup um i like the fact of how small it is because there's when you close it pull them back in like that and then simply pick that up but i like the fact that they've made this a little bit smaller for guys that have you know maybe a smaller workbench you can see the difference in size of it that way and this way that way it kind of fits your needs of what you need for storage um i'm a huge fan of the montezuma boxes i feel like they put a lot of thought into their their products when they're designing them they hold a ton of tools in a very small space, very quality made. Um, the actual shop box that's in my truck, I actually dropped it out of the truck unloading it, landed on the corner. It did dent the box, but it didn't hurt it. I mean, they're very well made. They stand behind their products. But that's two of the shop boxes. You seen the other large shop box. I do have another video that's gonna be coming out real soon. It's got all of them and I kind of take the tools out and show you how much stuff you can actually fit in a small space. And we're gonna be comparing it against like a roll cart or, um, you know, like a 26 inch version of the Harbor Freight box. That way it gives you an idea how much stuff you can fit in this box. Believe it or not, this box right here, or the big one, will absolutely blow your mind at how much stuff that you can hold in there versus the old school, old school stand-up style toolboxes. It's really, really amazing. That's gonna be a cool video that's gonna open a lot of eyes to the Montezuma design and how well they've done with those boxes. But anyway, guys, that's my video today. I definitely wanted to show off this little fella. That way you guys could see kind of what's going on with our shop box series and kind of explain the differences because there's been a lot of people ask me, you know, what's the difference between the shop box and the regular box? You know, if it's got a drawer, obviously it's not waterproof. And they also have the places on the back, like right here for you to put a power cord through. So that's gonna kind of kill the waterproofness of them. But anyway, that's my video today, guys. Go check these out at Montezuma. If you Google Montezuma storage systems, you'll definitely find them. They got a ton of products. They've got the regular the regular style toolboxes like we've all seen for you know hundreds of years the the square boxes with the pull-up drawers and if you hadn't seen the video i'll put a video at the end a uh, card at the end where we toured the facility and showed you all the products that they had which is really cool anyway guys that's my video hopefully you like if you do hit the thumbs up check over here for merchandise cool tools and discount codes down here and if you're not subscribed take your finger click that button you guys have a great week and we will catch you later see ya